Greetings and salutations. I hope everyone's having themselves a mighty fine day. Please like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell of dawn so the Ghost of the 13 Month series doesn't get you and you can stay notified. Say hi to YouTube. YouTube will see this in like three months. But hey, man. Traumering, Gustang was throwing down. Bam came through. That man pulled out the study. The library. Life isn't hard when you got a library card. Yeah. Life ain't hard when you got a library card. So let's see what we're doing today, um, this week, and we'll, hopefully we're continuing with you know the combat. They did refer to Leviathan power as Troms, by the way. Interesting. I don't know. I don't even read the officials anymore. But a few minutes ago, so it's probably when Bam was traveling. Yeah, right. Yeah, I figured. Is this man healed, by the way? Like, is he good? What's his HP at and mana at? Like, is he at hundred? A hundred? <laughs> Like, is he, like, if he gets us another fight, is he, he said, yeah, all right, fair enough. That's just, that's just the answer. Well, well other than that, this place, the vines are already all destroyed. The vines are already all destroyed. He looks up. What is that? Just a nasty, that giant, huge thing. Tower of God, season three, pass of the family leaders, the promised one. His HP is at infinite plot convenience percent. He can't be 100, but CBL. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, there's some electricity and stuff. The two family leaders. They have already started a battle. You couldn't sense that? Conf there's Miss and Dorsey. Holding on to her leg for dear life, like you're not getting away. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Sorry, that was so funny. I didn't expect that. Like, Bella or Enkidu, Enkidu, I feel like we should have like been able to deal with their pretty, like, pretty, like, whatever. But I know she has, she has Bong Bong. I just didn't expect to see him holding on to her leg like that. I just, I wasn't ready for that. I'm sorry. All right, I'm calm. I'm good. Miss Dorsey? the vision of Holland that was inside the ancient beast became one. With this. Interesting. Okay. Look at Holland. Ugh! What are you trying to do? Are they dodging the, the, the thing together? They both landed. This place is really getting... This place is getting really creepy. Oh, aren't they fake working together? If I remember correctly. Enkidu might be top five least intelligent specimens in the tower. Oh man, we're going to get some laughs. This place is really creepy. Let's get the chess piece and get out of here. Okay, wait a minute. Holland, question mark. Come to your senses. You're being controlled by Traumare. Give me that chess piece you have right now. With that chess piece, we can defeat Traumare in the game. If he loses this game, you will be no longer the, be the vassal of your family leader. The administrator will take away the blessings he gave him as a ruler. You wanted his downfall too, didn't you? Huh? Hey, you. The monsters are coming. What? He turned, she teleported and he turned into Enkidu Jelly. They're working together. So maybe she was just teleporting him? Damn it. That guy has completely lost his mind. What the hell are, what the hell are you going to do? He can't even talk. It can't be helped. Get me closer to that guy and we'll get the chess piece he has. I'm someone easy. You should say, please transport me there. Wait. It would be much easier to negotiate if I brought my if I brought the chess piece myself. Well, where the hell is the chess piece? Right there, in the ch in his chest cavity piece. There it is. Found it. The chess piece. I'll go ahead. Hey, hey, where are you going alone? Damn it! Could that? Could it be that that is trying to take the chess piece herself by herself? You think I'm going to let that happen? Jelly attack. Teleportation. She gets it. I can see some of the water around here. I wonder if I got her. I got it. Nope. Yoinked. Uh-oh. Hold on. That's good camera work. Screenshot. I truly read this chapter for Endorsey's physique. I saw he knows what he's doing here. He knows what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing here. He just said, let me, let me, he just said, let me just, you know, what you guys, the tentacles, man. You were planning on betraying me. Kill you fucking bastard. If you don't want me, if you, 
don't want me to leave your head facing backwards. Take out that chess piece and throw it at me right now. Hurry up. I guess this is where Bam comes in. I wish that... Wait. I wish that held my attention. <laughs> Equal rights gains in the tower. Freaky ass. He is 69. <laughs> throw it at me right now. Hurry up. What do I do? Ugh. Come on. Give it to me. Hurry up. Ugh. Damn it, what the, what the hell is this? What is this guy? It's like I'm paralyzed and my whole body has been weakened. I can't even activate Bong Bong. What are you waiting for? Give me the chess piece at once. And there comes a Shinsu attack, I'm guessing. Kya! She falls. Cook. Who? Bam! Miss Dorsey, are you the irregular? Bam! Now is not the time to fight him. The king of the Lopo BS pieces inside that body... Is inside the body of that guy who has turned into a monster. We have to get it back. What? Bam, looks probably going to pack them up. Oh, no, they dodge. Okay, okay. Bobbing and weaving. Bam, attack him. <laughs> All right. They're going to work together. Kill. What's this? That guy's fist. Can it hurt me? Now. Get in. So, wait. Is he, was, he a, was he impervious to all the attacks he was taking... Taken before you said was this would be a crazy dojin. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody takes this to make something. And Dorsey in slime tentacle trap S I U dojin brain taken over. He let all the intrusive thoughts win. Hold on, wasn't already a real loser of the game would would lose the administrator's blessing or was that something S I U added recently? I don't recall that ever being a thing, but I guess it's a thing, bro. But I'm with you. I definitely caught that, and I'm like, I don't have the energy to think about whether or not I forgot or whatever. So. <laughs> Crazy Dojin. SU locked in his cameraman for endorse you only facts. Get in. Yes. Kug bong bong. Teleport. He came close. Bam. Get the chest piece. Yes. He's going for it. Got it. Good. Let's go. And they teleport again. Looks like she's carrying him. Is he tired? Oh, there we go. Bam, where's the chess piece? Here. I brought it safely. Bam, good job. You bastards, you're annoying me. I see the horn. I see the horn. What you trying to do? It's CBL Nation over here. That bong bong is insane. Best item really is. SC added that ish just now. Okay, all right. Give it to me now that I'm asking nicely, kids. That chess piece does not belong to you, irregular. Ugh, my ears are going to fall off. This badass has no manners. He yells loud like that out of nowhere. E irregular. <laughs> irregular? This is Broly. Kakarot! <laughs> what? Damn it. Damn, they're both... There's Scandal both in the back and the front. Man, the chess piece, yes. I'll protect the chess piece. You fight. And take my chess piece. Y yes? <laughs> she just cut? Okay. Bam should be able to. I mean, I don't think it's at full power, though. But there, there, there they go. You're the irregular they're making such a fuss about. Why don't you show me your skills? I have a. I have the feeling that this is a bad opponent. Okay. That, so they have to. Okay, I'm not mad at this because it's like a stage hazard with, with like Holland just like doing crazy weird things. But after what you've seen with the family heads and Dumas and stuff, this guy probably shouldn't scare you. But I wonder if the feeling he's getting is that ability that he has to grant you the death that you deserve. I wonder if that's the like the thing that's throwing him off a little bit. The bong bong is the same best item. And Kadu's not like that. He really is. He rag you. Ah! Okay, he brought up the he brought the, he brought the cutlery. Red Theresa. I can't tell what level it's at though. Cheer up, bam! Way to go, Miss Ann Dorsey. You are inconsiderate. Ah, uh, you got so embarrassing. I have a weak body. I can't fight anything like that. Kick. I know it's a bit unpleasant, but with an enemy that powerful, it's better for Miss and Dorsey to avoid it since she has a chess piece. Besides, in a case of emergency, we can both use Miss and Dorsey's bong bong as a last resort. I'll make sh I'll I'm sure Miss and Dorsey realized this, and that's why she moved away from it. 
like, yeah. Hey, girl, what are you doing hiding in such a in such a big place? Wh what the hell? You you surprised me. Why aren't you fighting? I prioritized the chess piece over that guy. Give it to me. Get away from me, you filthy bastard. Shut up. I won't hurt you if you just give me the chess piece. Miss Dorsey. Irregular. Look how... Nah. This is the meaning of unfazed, brother. Look how unmoved he is. Irregular. <sighs> Orb. <laughs> Orb. <laughs> what to deal with him? Though the deserved death pen ability shouldn't work on Bam since he's an irregular. Fair enough. And Dorsey's done serious. I think he feels Enkidu. Okay. Orb. Gak. It let me go. Bye. No. Ugh. That bastard keeps getting in my way. Don't keep looking the other way. I'm the one who's fighting. I'll take care of 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 you too. <laughs> He said, you guys are not a threat. Double team me. Come on. Hold on. We got to. Hey, man. CBL. I just fought Dumas. So fight with all your might. Nah, that's condescending. <laughs> he's, he's basically said, hey, y'all team up and do your best. That bastard. The chess piece, the chess piece is wonderful. Good and cool. <laughs> That cheeky bastard. Bam, good luck. Cheer up. That woman. Why does she stay in, in this place after taking the chess piece instead of escaping? With her power, she should be able to get out of her, shouldn't she? She can't be. That guy cares about her? Then it's a weakness. Oh, he's looking. He went the, emo the emotional route. Interesting. But what what I'm trying to discern... Which I wish SIU maybe made a little more clear, but I'm not going to get mad at him for this. Which thoughts are truly Bellarier's and which thoughts are truly Enkidu's? Or are they working as a tandem? Like it comes across to me that's Bellarier thinking. The roar part was probably Enkidu, but I'm not entirely sure. Are you guys, are you guys thinking something similar to what I'm saying? Am I making sense? All right, here you come. Damn it. Block from all directions. What the hell? This bastard. How many ways can he manipulate Shinsu? Hand fell off. He's probably going to use the hand piece to like go grab her and sneak around some Majin Buu ish. Hands are off. He's just turning into some type of tentacle something creature. Bam. Arrow? <laughs> this is a cold ass panel. I can't even lie. The cold ass panel. <laughs> CBL's back. CBL, CBL, CBL. Bam talking mad-ish. Bam got that Ibaka hammer energy. <laughs> Bam moving like Drake if he was capable. That's crazy. Sometimes it feels like the one talking is switching. I'm, I'm kind of, that's why I'm trying to like see if I can figure it out. I thought they were working in tandem, but there's times where like it was obvious Enkidu was talking and the, and the font changed like a lighter blue, but I don't know. Honestly, this is not a bad chapter of showing Bam's abilities better than the Dumas fights. I think I agree. Uh-oh. Shot an arrow. A long arrow. Did it pierce him? Eh? The work could be excess surprise. It's a weak point. Hit him. That guy is unbelievable. That's so annoying for someone so young. So if that guy is so that guy is one of the guys that trauma ray consi considered his equal, right? It's been a while since I faced someone that good at Shinsu, so if I make that my skill, as expected, every seed is different. Well, anyways, there's a relief. He, it's, it seems he still hasn't realized that I've identified his weakness. Yeah. He's just shooting arrows. I still have too much aftermath from the previous battle to continue consuming my energy. So he's not at full power. Okay. There we go. Bam, random fights better than Bam main fights secretly. I need to strike a more accurate blow. Okay. He's coming in. Blue fire on the hand. Miss Dorsey, what's this? Where did this come from? 
that bat if that bachelor catches me, I won't be able to activate Bong Bong. I have to cut it fast. Hol Holland, Miss Aunt Dorsey, wake up now. Here's a thorn out. Come to your senses. We just have to beat the ish out of these guys. We have to beat the ish out of these guys who think they're different. Wake up. Cook, Holland, you woke up. If only I could get rid of this. Yeah. What the hell? Why the hell is this happening? Miss Aunt Dorsey. He's jumping and weaving, bobbing and weaving. Very good. You helped me just when I needed it, Holland. The chess piece will will be for later. What I want to take from you right now is your very existence. That body of yours. Like that. That is like that of the ten family leaders. I'm going to take away your very existence. It's that that's not gonna work. What? What is this? Why is my body like this? Where am I? You got consumed <laughs> instead? Leviathan, bitch? Oh, damn it. That monster. What's going on? My powers don't work here. Damn it. Ah! I almost died. What? What is this place? Wait, that's that thing that we always see. Eh? A voice? What is this? Who? You? Who are you? Whoa. Whoa. Wait, don't take your hand off me. Somehow, I must have woken up from a very deep sleep. You are a peculiar creature. You're not human at the same time. You're not inhuman at all. So why were you able to wake me up? I see the resentment you hold inside you against someone else. It is a masterpiece that was created over an extremely long period of time through the intertwining of many lives. It was that resentment that has awakened me. I will be the God that fulfills the wishes of your resentment? Who are you? I am the promised one who has been promised to return to the tower one day and walk the path. You may call me V. What? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Nantato. Was y'all right? What's going on, bro? Is this the 25th time V tried to really come back? Was there actually credence to this? That's a crazy ending. I'm not bad at this chapter in all honesty. I don't think it was bad. I don't think it was amazing, but I don't think it was bad. I really don't have any. I, he definitely added some stuff, and the ending is a little wonky, but... Hmm. Anyways, hold on. Hold on. Um, he's not 100%. We look like 100%. Here we go. Fake ass Orochimaru. I get the not full power, but that's so annoying at this point. It's an excuse to make the fight last longer than needed. It's a Sasuke versus Orochimaru all over again. This right here shook everyone. LMAO. I don't know what the SAU is trying to do. How long? How did I manage to miss the entire chapter, dog? I hate this. My BAM will die. The TOG theory is edging closer. Evil V. Nandeska. V, full name is Juvio Grace. Eh, Bam vs. Dumas was worse. For every answer SC provides, it generates about five additional questions. Chapter was okay. It felt super long, though. It was long. Maybe the powers built up by V that return to Shinsu, but please don't be the actual guy. You should go back and read that chapter where Bam had to answer that question that Endorsey answered. Okay. The Crossroads one. Bam is Bam. And maybe that's why, because Bam is V? V is Bam. I still don't understand why Dorsey didn't just teleport away. Why was she staying here and getting attacked by Bella Rear? I think, I think she just wanted to make sure he was okay, and if she needed to teleport him away, she could. And I, the only reason I'm coming to that conclusion is because Bella Rear, en Enkidu Rear was like, oh, they care about each other, so we tried to use that weakness against them because it's a weakness that she's staying nearby to like make sure he's okay, even though she knows she's getting in the way of the fight. But it was, it was probably best for her to just leave. But then again, she could get attacked by something else out there that Bam has to worry about. It was, I don't know. Um, it could and could not make sense. He's like, SIU has tried to set this up, but, ex but execution matters. Yes. I, I can definitely can say, I've, I remember a few things that I'm like, okay, we could be moving this direction. And that little like, dent of line like the i don't want to say crater but you know what i mean like the crevice in the ground that we just saw here we've seen that before and we did and there was saying that um these guys um with and with uh hari Yoon, that something was going to reawaken again soon or whatnot so it's not completely on a left field it's just what the hell's going on 
Do you think there are multiple V entities? I have no idea what to think right now. So bam, we're just another save file for V. Again, way too early for me to be able to tell you. I don't really have my thoughts together yet. This chapter ends at the, at the time where Gus Dang saw Bam last chapter. Okay, fair enough. This chapter just proved once again Bam cannot be with his regular teammates. They are effing liability. Chapter was cool. I don't know why Slave and Nidoro felt the need to copy the paste to endorse he gets caught by Enkidu, freed by Bam, stare at the deformed Holland section. But, you know, imagine if this is the... If if the mark is that of Violi, the Viole, hmm. I'm so confused. Did this chapter establish that the contract's blessings was granted by the family head and not granted to the specific irregular? Let me let me reread the part. I don't know. Let me see. Something about. No, I think it was before this, right? You're trying to convince him to like get back to his senses. Come to your senses. If he if he loses this game, you will no longer be the family vassal of your leader. The administrator will take away the blessings he gave him as a ruler. I guess it's the no, some administrator did this. He called the line his self of representation of himself. So I remember, remember correctly. For extra clarity, for anyone who needs it, we saw that line when Bam was training with Dad and couldn't unleash for the times. No, we've seen it before. I know. I'm, I know stuff. There's that and this weird sun down sunset thing inside Bam. We see every once in a while that like hasn't fully been showcased, but we've seen it pop up. And that line in the ground with the little blue glow, we've seen before. If Enkidu gets part of V's power to make him relevant and get out like nothing, I quit this nonsense. I remember the line getting stronger when Bam was angry at White and now it's saying Enkidu's hatred awoke him. Maybe the answer is really negative emotions. Dark change is coming. The dark twist. It's finally here. In my, in this economy? This chess game had much higher stakes than I thought. It did. No way Traumer would take the match if he knew about it. Traumaway was most more so coerced. Like Traumaway never wanted to engage with this. It was because they had already made a deal with the administrator and took his family and blah blah blah. He's like, whatever, man. Traumaway never really wanted to be a part of all this. He never really cared like that. But what can you do? Here we are, in the moment. Time to deal with it, you know. So yeah, good chapter though. I don't. I didn't know what to expect because it felt like we got away a bit. But wait a minute. What was the name of this thing? V and Arlie must have hated the heart to unprecedented levels after the journey, to just what keeps you going. Hate. <laughs> the past season three, past of the family leaders, the promised one. Oof. Oof. That's crazy. Ugh. We, um, I still don't know how SU is planning on ending the season. Are Trom and Gustin gonna have a chess match after all this? And, and, and the arena? I don't ever know anymore. Any idea the direction the story will be taking, or you don't have any idea yet? I don't have any idea. Anything I'm, I'll be saying is just things that I would like to see or want to see or nonsense out of my, out of the crease of my ass. I don't, I don't know. Cause all of this is crazy. Is the administrator stuff before mentioned before? Because I don't remember that part of the blessing removal. No, that's some, that's. I think that was something that was just added in this chapter. Maybe Bellarir was the only one who knew that, or Enkidu, or the both of them, or something. But definitely new information from what I can remember. I don't recall that ever being a thing. Bam being V could definitely be interesting depending on execution. The issue is is you can execute this in so many different ways. By the way, we need Arling to pop out in the flash, pop up in the flashback. You were right. V ain't dead. He bam. <laughs> CBL was CVL this entire time. I wonder if the god loose like has been referring to when he first popped up his V. And maybe when, and maybe the one that, um, and, um, Huaryun even called. Maybe she was always talking about the, the sleeping, dormant, whatever of V. But then you have to ask yourself this, right? What if, here's a thought that I had just, just now on the spot. And this. I haven't fleshed it out yet, but 
what if V never actually died and what he did was seal himself or part of his power, personality, whatever the case may be, however you want to spin it, into, into Bam? Or could have Arlene done it with the spell? I don't know. It's hard to say. But it's interesting. I think we're going to... I feel like a major reveal is probably coming. Can Jaku had ass V? Grip Jaku? It wasn't, but why would he tell Trom that he wouldn't agree to it, I think? I don't know. I don't know what some of these niggas are doing. Or like Minato? Suppose, I suppose. What if it isn't V and this is the god from the outside? I had that thought. I had that thought. The outside god that was resurrected or whatever. Could it be mistaken itself for V? And thinks it's V and it's not actually V? Whichever way V is inside, bam, no diddy. I'm putting my money that it's not a good version of him. Well, if it's if it's being moved and awakened by hatred, I'm going to assume no. I mean, if Traumare wasn't told the punishment that his lawyers got a case, V went outside and became the outside guy. This can also explain why Bam and Rachel are both irregulars, though only one irregular entered the tower. It could this could make a lot of things make sense from earlier. It's a Taraka that ate V and now mistaken itself for him. There you go. That's the real answer. Something interesting that we know what's V's eyes, they don't seem to be the same as Ghost who has Bam's eyes. I was never really big on that ghost being V or something theory, but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. At this point, it could be anything. We don't even know. But What was your guys' favorite piece of dialogue? What was your favorite panel? And what would you rate it for the week? I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Maybe an 8. It's cool. Favorite panel? Honestly, Bam had a cold one when he was shooting the arrow. I wouldn't even lie to you. Or when he just looked down like Orb. Orb. Hey, y'all could work together. Don't hold back. Do your best. <laughs> Just talking that cash money. That cash money mark. Seven out of ten for more. I actually endorsed you had that one panel where like it should look kinda nice, but Yeah. Yeah, for me it's gonna be a seven point five. It was a long. It was a long chapter, really. It was very long. Six point five. That fight became annoying for no reason because Dorsey refused to leave. <laughs> yeah, I think Bam is better when the stakes aren't too high, like the fight with Ren in the Ren fight. True. Seven. Six point five. Then I love the chapter. Okay. Imagine becoming a high ranker just to end up like Holland. <laughs> so that's why Luce like speaks of Bam when he refers to him as as boy, child, etc. Not God. There could have been a lot of subtle things SIU was actually doing a really good job of to keep us on our toes and whatnot. What about maybe the dialogue? Might have been Bam talking ish, bro. Honestly. With him just kind of going like, hey, come at me, bro. This guy is unbelievable. The 25th promise Kirby is real. So if Bam is V, I'm convinced Rachel being Icarus is possible and that's why they were together and narratively connected. Whatever that e them even be, uh, whatever being them even means. Both of their second names related to the previous selves. One given by FUG and the other one given by themselves. In the data floor, he hinted at this V thing. Yes, we, he, did, he did. Seven. We have more questions now. LOL. Yeah, Bam Talking Catch was my favorite um, dialogue. Him with the arrow, or like, and Dorsey with the slime. Favorite panel, and a 7.5 for the week. Do we think S SIU can hint to reincarnation rather than body possession? Could be either or. V really became a big hater after the hard betrayal. He gonna burn everything. He's, he's um, what, what do they call that guy from um, Game of Thrones? The, the mound? Not the mound. The guy with the messed up face. He's like, what keeps you going? He went, hate. <laughs> v, despite everything, what keeps you going? 
Hatred. <laughs> the hound. The hound. The hound. Yeah. I kind of get in Dorsey's logic that she wants to stay in Bam's sphere of protection considering she can get hit and killed by a straight attack. So like, well, I, I think she just, I think she was just worried about him. I says, I'm not, I'm not, I get why you're annoyed, but I'm not going to kill her for like being like, I could teleport him out of, out of danger if I, if he needs to. So Jihad killed the baby and V killed himself and entered the baby or became the baby. I'm just a baby. V became Dabby for real. Who are you? V. <laughs> I'm vengeance. <laughs> All right, guys, come join me on YouTube, and give me like seven minutes or so. Um, I want. I definitely. I. I. I got. We gotta talk about all the. We're having a theory day. We're talking about V. V. Reincarnation. We're. We're. We're gonna go crazy with the theories today. Let's just put our tinfoil hat on and and talk about it. But let's transition to to YouTube. I wonder if Bam will regain his memories and fully become V, or V will take over, pushing the Bam aside, self aside. It's gonna be interesting to see what he does. Yeah. That tells she's a good friend. Bam's friends leave when a monster fish appears. All right. Enjoy your YouTube stream. All right. Appreciate y'all. Give me some time and we'll, we'll fire it up. And I'll try to stream more this week. My bad about last week. Nah. Bad friends. Forget they even exist. Think about them, a.k.a. Bam. See you in a bit. Patreon, Patreon, Patreon gang. I appreciate you guys as always. Thank you for the continued support. It always helps. I'm actually going to add like a dollar tier just for those who just want to throw a little extra help to me if y'all don't mind that but shout out to the certified bam lovers that's cbl gang cbl nation but a bigger shout out to the priest of fire those are the certified brothers lovers they might be the real cbls and the huge huge shout out to the fifth zen gods thank you to zyler scotty wolf general wreck Mazzino, sly simi scobe rocks g Revenant, Lazy Dragon, Big Mod Katan, Johnny Rogers, Huey, Gray, Fairs, Childish New Jabez, Agrona Vitra, and Big Abdel. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you. I moved out of the streets into a cardboard box. We're moving on up, people.